Can I have the families and participants in our confirmation and baptism come forward, please? simple note about theology while they're coming forward. I've never had this, never had both of these at the same time. Um, some denominations baptize infants and some denominations baptize adults. They want them to make the decision um, themselves. The thing about the theology of the United Methodist Church is we feel that um, God loves us before we know what love even is. And so we baptize an infant and everyone in the congregation, including the family, takes on the promise of the baptism of that infant. And confirmation is very similar to um, what other denominations, the age other denominations would baptize when they can understand and and make a decision. So we have um, both, yep, hurry up. Uh, We have both those elements today. Uh, We have, the liturgy is on your screen. If you want to follow along, um, you respond in bold. There's a lot of responses on your part. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated in a Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. Through confirmation and through the reaffirmation of our faith, we renew the covenant declared at our baptism, acknowledge what God is doing for us, and affirm our commitment to to Christ's holy church. I present Zachary Alexander Hamilton Patterson for baptism. And I present Aaron Elizabeth Cockrell, Brittany Marie Harry, and Catherine Jane Steckety for confirmation. On behalf of the church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. Will you nurture Zachary in Christ's holy church that by your teaching and example he may be guided to accept God's grace for himself, to profess himself openly, and lead a Christian life? Do you, as Christ's body the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include these persons now before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround these persons with a community of love and forgiveness that they may grow in their trust of God and be found faithful in their service to others. We will pray for them that they may be true disciples who walk in the way that leads to life. Let us join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments. Do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you stepped across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water, and after the flood, you you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land you promised. Sing to the Lord all the earth, tell of God's mercy each day. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. 
Declare his works to the nations, his glory among all the people. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and those who receive it, to wash away their sin and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory. All praise to you, Eternal Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever. Amen. Could you hold this bowl? Zachary Alexander Hamilton Patterson, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I don't know what to do with boys. Hmm? Uh, can we sing Jesus Loves Me? I'm gonna let I'm gonna skip the next part because we let him sit down. Aaron Elizabeth Cockrell, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born of the water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brittany Marie Harry, the Holy Spirit work within you that have been born through the water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Catherine Jane Steckety, the Holy Spirit work within you, that have been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you two questions. As members of Christ's Universal Church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen its ministries? Okay. As members of this congregation, will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, and your service? Okay, you go. Good. <laughs> As members of this congregation, will you faithfully participate? Mm -hmm. Members of the household of God, I commend these persons to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. We give thanks for all that God has already given you, and we welcome you in Christian love. As members together with you and the body of Christ, and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church, we renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, and our service that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. The God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace 